So this is Adidas Flat Forum. You see how iconic is this, especially the outsole. It remind me of the Rick Owens Ramon. Uh, they released a couple seasons ago. They actually stack up like two different outsole to create one complete outsole, just like this one, right? Uh, it's cool, especially for the short guy like me. I need the height uh, for <laughs> to get my uh, my height taller a little bit. You know, it's just instant click. Wear the shoes, I'm gonna get taller, like a couple inches. And let's get closer look into the design. The close up on the Adidas flat forum and the most obvious detail, iconic things on the shoes is at the outsole. And also the shoes come with three different colorful laces. The color is really nice. And I can wait to put them like replace this black laces to this one of these colorful laces. So let's go to the outsole first because the outsole is the most iconic piece and the most obvious uh, detail on the shoes, right? The outsole is basically remind me of the stack of Oreos um, because the white color here in the heel counter forum also that they stack together. You may think is a three forum also that they stack together, but it actually is just a design aesthetic. It's the one big unit. It's just one piece. Okay, it's like a cup sole. So if you own forum shoes, you know classic Adidas also. And let's go to the upper. The upper is used leather and the mixing match some of the synthetic leather together with the real leather um, because the upper leather is very durable that's why sometimes you don't need the lining in here there's no lining but you see it expose a lot of stitches it just feel like unfinishing but i get it this shoes is material that use is tough so you don't basically need that it's remind me of one of the Dr. Martin shoes because the leather, but this Dr. Martin shoes, the leather is tougher than this. And also like the entire shoes is basically remind me of one of the Rick Owens, like they have double outsole on their shoes. Yeah, that's just, like remind me of that platform. Maybe they in, even in, inspire from that too, you know, from the Rick Owens shoes. The shoe detail is pretty smooth especially on the spit hook it's more like a hiking it's a metal pretty nice little detail there they have like five spit hook and also have a, a eyelet two flat eyelets i love all the finishing on this not shiny um it's matte finishing the heel counter they use synthetic leather and also in the back right here, in the, around the collar. And it also come with a metal buckle. The detail from the flat forearm separate itself from the other regular forearm is they have metal pieces. They're different on this forearm than the other regular forearm is you basically have to use more of your cap muscle to walk on this because it's like pretty thick, you know, the outsole is kind of heavy too. So you're definitely going to use more of your toe and your cap muscle to walk on these shoes all day, especially in New York City. So up next, I'm going to share with you guys how I personally like to style them. So I create three different looks to go with this sneaker. The first one, I wear them with a bucket hat. This one is from Engineer Garment and the class is from Cool Broom. And also the flea jacket that I got from like, I think a couple seasons ago, like I think two years or one years ago uh, from Naked and Famous and uh, the vintage denim jean from Zara. This actually denim jean is from woman department. I think it fit me pretty well. At first it's so damn tight for me like cause the waist and <laughs> it's weird like it's just weird but hey the more you get used to woman clothes you're gonna get comfortable with it so I'm, I'm okay with that. And go really well with this Adidas flat forum, you know. Um, the, this look is kind of chill. Um, I majority I think I will go for this look. 
just like to hang out in the city uh, but uh, I think it's missing something maybe a tote bag or some yeah could be a tote bag or a fanny pack um, I'm more into my style is more into accessory I don't really care about the brand names or whatever expensive how expensive you wear your clothes like I don't care that you, how much you pay for your item but if you have no style you have no style you know it's just like it's, it's money cannot buy style but money can buy part of the happiness um, yeah this is pretty much it's, all this look is pretty it's not that expensive I think the more expensive item on this look is my classes <laughs> yeah it's, I think it's it cost around like 400 yeah it's the most expensive item on this look and let's go to the second look the second look is the leather jacket not really a jacket it's just like over shirt uh, button shirt from Oak NYC I don't know if they still survive through the pandemic but um, hopefully they still there because they have some item it's pretty good Oak NYC and the sunglasses are from Cool Broom again with my clutch that from a uh, stolen girlfriend the brand you know it's weird stolen girlfriends and also uh, the, this bag is actually is not mine it's my for my younger brothers I go pretty well with the pants that I got from Yooks uh, the pants kind of relaxed like a uh, fit on um, draping on the sneakers and this shoes yeah pretty good man you cannot go wrong with black shoes you know especially on the forum definitely is a must cup from the forum especially if you're a short person you must get this one the price is very affordable and also gonna boost up your height definitely is a must cup and forum shoes you know from adidas is one of the best classic shoes out there in the market and the most expensive item from this look is the sunglasses again i mean i spent a lot of money on the classes i don't know why but that's my addiction a little bit um and let's go to my third look this is actually my favorite look of all of three looks that i create in this video so from top to bottom i wear with my white three hat his trapper style hat and with my cool broom sunglasses one of my favorite sunglasses um, is because it looked like cyborg it just looked like so futuristic so i always love to wear this with my camel pants you know i love camel pants i love mil military uniform in general because it was seen that was a kid i just like uh, to play around with like toy soldier and buy a lot of guns shooting each other with my brother so and also i really wanted to join the military when i was a kid and um the shirt is from y3 and you see that small backpack is from my running backpack you know you gotta do what you gotta do is to create a complete look usually when i create this video i just walk around my house and then i see like okay what is this what i have this and this hang over there on my chair and on my table yeah maybe i just can't come by to create this complete look you know um you've seen a lot of other video that i wear with my camo pants uh, camo pants never never go wrong with a black pair of boots especially the shoes right here the adidas platform go really well um, i really love this look this is my favorite look of our three looks um, my second one is the first look with the bucket hat my last and least favorite one on this video is uh, the leather jacket the button shirt um, that, yeah that's my least favorite um, I just like uh, the cool looking effortless and look kind of masculine a little bit like a bad boy look uh, that's, that's my style always wear with camo I'll never go wrong with the camo pants you know especially the classic style camo pants uh, the camo pants is actually from Carhartt <laughs>
So there you go, all those three looks that I create for this video and the review that I done on the shoes. If you like this video, give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel for more video. I have a lot of video coming up every single week and I can't wait to share with you guys. I'm out.